Hi, welcome to my floor. As you can tell by the title, today I am going to be attempting to make a Lazy Oaf dress or a Lazy Oaf inspired dress. There are lots of really cool Lazy Oaf dresses, but these two were the ones that inspired this project. They both have a gathered sleeve, a boxy top and a floofy skirt. I'm going to be making this dress out of this material which used to be a duvet cover that we're recycling. And yeah, I don't have any sewing experience. I don't mean that to like belittle myself, but before this year, 2021, I had not touched a sewing machine. So we'll see how this goes. I am not very optimistic. I'm sure that any seamstresses among you will be like, this is the easiest thing ever. You have no idea. But because I'm really impulsive and very, very bad at stopping myself, I'm gonna go for, I'm gonna try and make this dress. So my me just, just getting a pattern out. I don't even know what this is. Like, I don't, oh God, what have I done? It is taking so long just to cut the pattern pieces out. I haven't even started cutting it on my material yet. Why does YouTube make everything look so easy? I'm going to cut out the fabric now using the pattern pieces that I've made. Uh, it seems like it's not in my size. <laughs> so we'll see how this goes. Am I out of breath just from cutting some paper? Yes. Also, why is pattern paper so flimsy? I have ripped it twice already. <sighs> so I'd film a little update. It is dark now because I have been cutting out for... I started at six-ish, I guess. It is now half past eight. I have just finished cutting out all of the bits. Um, and I will film sewing another day because I am really, really tired and I did not quite prepare myself for how long that bit was gonna be. Day two. So today we're sewing. We're going to sew the back bodice pieces onto the front bodice piece at the shoulders. Okay, so Rosary Apparel told me that I should um, zigzag stitch over the ends of these uh, to prevent fraying, so I am going to do that now. So that is zigzag stitched over the end. Uh, looks kind of gross, but I guess it will stop it from fraying. So that's good. So we've run into another problem. Basically, uh, the pattern that I'm using uses bias binding and I don't have like the thing that makes the bias binding tape. Um, for those of you who don't know, bias binding is like basically where you make a thin strip of material that has no seams and then you sew that onto like the main thing to make there be no seams on the outside. But I don't know how to do that and it seems really complicated and Rosary Apparel isn't using bias binding, she's using facing, I believe it's called interfacing. I don't know, I think it's interfacing. Um, and that's basically where you have a thick strip and you sew them together and then flip them inside out um, so that it looks like there's no seams. I will have to improvise my interfacing. Mm. So I cut those out wrong. Um, and part of me is like, why do they need to attach at the shoulder? I guess it must be something about like how it all like fits together. But equally, I don't care that much. I'm trying to fight my inner demon who's just like, well, just sew the bits that you have cut out on because ultimately no one's gonna see the interfacing anyway. And I'm sure there's a good reason for why she does what she does. And maybe it makes it lay better, but also this is my first ever sewing product and project. And I'm like very aware that I'm the type of person who cuts corners and it will be a lesson for next time if it goes shit. Also, I forgot to eat and I'm a bit shaky because um, I got too into it and I forgot to eat. So I'm gonna go eat and then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna finish this top bit and then 
move on to the skirt, hopefully. So here I'm just sewing them together, right sides together, the two front pieces down the side seams and then flipping it inside out so the seams are on the inside. I'm sure some of you might have noticed before um, but I sewed the interfacing to the wrong side because <laughs> like oh no so this is rubbish but I think I can unpick it and we'll be fine and yeah Jesus Christ why do I do this to myself so once I'd finally unpicked all the seams I had to re-sew the interfacing to the outside so that when I flipped it over it would be on the inside. This was a frustrating process for me, but you know. No one told me I was going to hurt my back so much. So now I'm moving on to the sleeves. You make these two bell shapes and you fold them and you sew them together. Then you gather them at the top and you add them to the bodice. I used elastic to add like a bit of poof to the lower sleeve so i knew this was gonna happen again but um i sewed one of the sleeves inside out on and it took me ages to do and i'm gonna have to unpick it all i'm gonna pick this up again tomorrow i'm gonna seam rip this and then i'll catch up with you tomorrow i'm actually super proud of myself for um stopping now because I'm the kind of person who will just carry on but I do have places to be um, and I'm probably cutting it a bit fine as it is so yeah so day three we'll see how this goes um I'm gonna try and pin things and check that they're the right way before I sew them because man that's not fun <laughs> The pattern was a three-piece skirt, but a two-piece is much, much easier. So I just used a zigzag stitch with a thread underneath because my machine doesn't have basing stitches and then pulled it tight to gather the skirt. I realized that making these graphics and talking about it, it makes it sound like I knew what I was doing at the time, but I really was completely in the dark. It's a lot easier to explain once you've done it. So I have finally pinned the whole of the skirt to the whole of the bodice. This is the first one where I'm like absolutely nervous to start sewing because there's just so much material and I'm worried and there's quite a few pins as well and I'm just worried it's not going to go through my sewing machine in places but we'll see. Also I flipped it to check that I wasn't going to sew the whole thing and then find out that it was wrong so I did that. We are so nearly there, all I have to do is hem and then add a little tie to the back. Um, yeah, I'm excited. what am I proud of? Well I'm just proud of myself for making a dress. I also really like the sleeves. I like this little like ruched bit that I did with elastic um, and I also really like the gathers around the skirt although they could have been a bit more. They could have been a bit more there. Um, I learned so much about sewing and how to know which bit you're putting where and how much time it wastes when you have to undo that. What could be better certain things in the pattern that I used and certain things in the video by Rosary Apparel are like different and I mainly didn't use 
rosary apparels one because I didn't see that she'd done a pattern hack video in which she turns like the normal dress into a smock dress um but I actually quite liked the pattern that I used I thought it was like helpful it was easier for me to like order a pattern off the internet than to go like print it off at a print shop um or try and print it at home and I think it's really cute I'm just really happy that I did it there also was a bit of an issue with fastening because I didn't want to use a zip because I don't have a zipper foot for my sewing machine um, and originally I, I made some little ties but they sat weirdly and the bow was like upright rather than sideways because um, I think the material because I basically did like I folded it in and then folded it in again I think the material was a bit too structured like it's quite a structurally material like it holds its shape really well which is quite nice but it could like have been better maybe if I'd have thought about the material before I started making the thing if that makes sense um I wish the sleeves were a bit bigger actually I think they could have been a lot more dramatic but we live online and I've learned so much it's been such a good experience even though I am exhausted now and all I want to do is go to sleep so yeah Thank you for watching. I hope you had a great time.